Good morning, Gail. You're gonna make me brew, aren't you? You brew. You brew. You brew. You brew. <laughs> this is the you brew from Breville. Yes, it is. So it's a grind and brew. Mm -hmm. Let's get your grinder right here. Look quick. Hey, here it is. <laughs> Filled with beans. That's your grinder. In any mm -hmm. case, now that we're into the grinder, what the heck? One of the things that uh, Breville does is you can unlock this, and look, it says, "Lock." Oh, beans. cool. You can take this out. And you can replace your beans if you want. And there's a little brush for cleaning your... Come on out of there. You can clean down here. You can clean the little grinder chute as well. Mm -hmm. or a little can... secret squirrel. Breville's the secret squirrel of all manufacturers. I could, uh, <laughs> I could brush my teeth this morning, too. Get those in the back. Exactly. Oh, on the lid here, it has a rubber seal, which is kind of nice. You can mm -hmm. feel it when you put it back in. It really seals nicely. Cool. Water goes in here. And as you can see, it's got a little float that comes up, mm -hmm. but also when it reaches the maximum, a signal will go off, so you want to stop. And beep, beep. Oh, nice. you've done it. I've done it. <laughs> beep, beep. Okay. Um, thermal carafe, typical thermal carafe. Mm -hmm. Get down there. Uh, the one nice thing about this one, too, is you can take this out, and now you can put a go cup in here. We'll just give you seven and a half Seven and a half inch max and, like, two and three-eighths of an inch or something okay. diameter. Yeah. yeah. So that's nice. And then any drips, this it, it doesn't go down in there. Mm -hmm. It goes in here, and this comes apart so you can clean it. Pop yeah, it out. Have, yeah, that comes apart. Okay. Uh, what else has it got? Yeah, open her up. This is where the grinding happens and goes down into the gold tone filter. I don't know if it's gold, real gold, or gold tone. We'll have to look into that. Mm -hmm. The other nice thing that Breville does, Kat and I were talking about this earlier, when the, when the ground coffee comes down, this will be up here, this hole. Yeah. And it corresponds with this over here, and this has a rubber seal. Mm -hmm. Coffee goes down in there, it's ground. Then this door comes around and closes so that no steam can go up into the grinder. So nice. And that's one, been one of the issues with some of the other grinding brews. And um, they also show that's where you also use the little brush. Gel. That's it. <laughs> Plus this, this here, look. <laughs> Clean me. I love it. <laughs> I love all their little bitty Well, bits. it all comes apart so you can do it. So and I like clean that. it all nicely. I was okay. in there wiping away because we've used this, you know. We tried it a couple of I'm in there wiping away and it flops out and I go, oh, perfect. And it says clean me. <laughs> Why doesn't it talk? <laughs> clean me. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into the interface sitch. Now, uh, the water is full. Yes. So it will allow me to make the maximum cups. That's another nice thing with this. You can make one cup, you mm -hmm. can make a whole pot, doesn't matter. The Whatever's in the tank, the water, it's not going to brew the whole thing unless you ask it to. Nice. So see, right now I could go, geez, you know what? I only really want two, or whoopsie, I only really want three. Okay. I guess two. Or you can do this, the single cup. The single cup. And then you have sizes that you correlate that right. to. So, nice, huh? Mm hmm Now, how do we get out of there? Let's go to carafe. See, and on that, too, you could change the how, what you want that one cup to taste like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, on the carafe, it doesn't have, like, a you could use steep ground. time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, on the carafe, it doesn't have a steep time, but it does on the one cups mm -hmm. where you can, like, say, okay, I want it to hang out for See? X amount of time. You can make it bold or light, whatever you want. I like that. Yeah, me too. Okay, so let's get out of that and get back into the carafe. Okay. Now, on the carafe, you can also do, you can put, why doesn't it want to go back to that? You can do pre-ground in the, you can put it in here. I wasn't hitting it hard enough. Or up to intense, all the way down to mild, whatever you like. Yeah. Right? And what we noticed is that once you go across that from strong into intense, your max is only nine cups. Yeah, when you available. Get down. Yep, but when so you're in this range, you can get up to twelve cups. Yep. When you go up into the higher, it'll allow you to go. So that you can't make a really nasty cup of coffee. So the other thing that you can do <laughs> is you can get into the. You can program the clock. It says it's two o'clock. It's not really two a.m., mm -hmm. folks. Really, it's not. <laughs> or if you hold this on. Wait a minute. Hold this on. You can program when it's going to come on, and it'll be an auto start. 
So you can just do that and then you oh, hit I'm changing, this. I'm changing the AM and the PM. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, you can get in there and do all that. Let me do that again. Okay, I got it on AM. Great. Then, yeah, hit no, that. no, no, no. So no. That, that one. Let me hit that again. That's our sort of like... Now this one? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Now I can change the time it's going to come on and all that. Now one thing that we have noticed about this grinder is that it is really loud. <laughs> so you could really combo nice. this as your alarm clock if you were close enough to the kitchen. <laughs> you could. So you want to brew? Hey, wait a minute. I want to do it. You brew. Okay. <laughs> Oh, one of the things we didn't talk about, Gail, was about the pre the the warming cycle. Oh, that's right. After the sink, it's done grinding. Yeah. Unless you want to step over here. <laughs> what this when you put this on? Yeah. In most coffee makers, the first spurt of water that comes into the coffee is going to be cold because it's in the line. Yeah. As this is grinding, it's actually circulating the water around through the heating element, so all the water that is hot that hits the coffee. Right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. It's we nice. Can go back now. <laughs> it is noisy. You can see that preheating right there. That's what it's doing right now. <laughs> okay, so now we've going. got like all our grounds down in there yep. and now we've transitioned to brewing yep and you can see this is a nice stainless steel case okay it's that in the back I haven't looked Gail what are you doing to it I wiggled it I didn't like it what is this it's a steam vent oh okay it's uh, thankfully I knew that because it was labeled steam, steam vent. vent. <laughs> <laughs> That's one nice thing about Breville. They don't really make you do a lot of guesswork. And you know what? <laughs> can't can read. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's pause while this guy is brewing for the next seven minutes. Yeah, exactly. Looks weak. It doesn't Ooh. taste weak. Hot. Yummy. It's good. I'm going to try it with a little cream in it. That's how I have it. Half and half. It doesn't look like the mud you produce on the Technovorum. Yeah, well, <laughs> we'll have to do But these. it's a good cup of coffee. I want to do these side by side. Yeah, I could drink this black. Mm hmm Cool. All right. Yeah, so we're going to do a taste test of this it's versus hot. the Technovorum. Do a little blind taste test on that Real combo. Hot. Yeah. Great temp. All right, and so the first one they're releasing, it's gonna be later this month-ish, is the Thermo, and then they're going to then be doing a glass one as well down the line, so. Are they? Yeah. So, when we say <coughs> later this month-ish, this is a, October. A, a early October of 2011. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so when you see this two years down the road. <laughs> so this will have been on the market for a while. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, all right, so that is our first run at the U-Brew. Mm -hmm. I like it. Me too. I, you know, for a grinding brew, it's there pretty you go. tight. Yeah. The grinder's a little on the loud side, but that's, that's really my only complaint at this point. That's the con. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Gail. Maybe we could put a little insulated box around it. <laughs> yes. See you later. Bye. <laughs>